As I was making this video, we got our first look at Virginia in the actual game with her boon ability. It's a short three second clip that you see her throwing it at a chicken where you see this purple mist go up in the air and I notice her screen begins to darken. I'm not sure if that's part of it. I feel like I still don't fully understand how the ability works, but at least we know it can be used to get rid of chickens. So it turns out that we are likely not getting the new family member on March 28th when we are getting Virginia and the new map. So of course we will be getting just those two things alone, which might screw up lobbies for a little while. Lobbies have always been heavily victim sided, so it'll be interesting to see how that affects the game. If you plan on trying to play victim that day, it's going to take you ages. It's honestly better to just skip that day and come back another time. Of course just for that short while when Virginia releases. This once again proves another flaw in their DLC system, which is that you can't really play as the characters that you pay for. Not only are the characters relatively expensive, but you can't even really get a good bargain as you can't even play with them half the time. And if you are determined to play with them for every match, you're going to lobby dodge causing issues for everybody. It really just isn't worth it anymore in my opinion, and I would rather not spend the money, but of course I am going to as I feel I need to get the gameplay. But if you're somebody debating on it, I highly recommend you don't buy any new content. I know a big thing going on is like, oh, you asked for new content and you're going to complain when you get the new content. Bro, the new content sucks. Like, <laughs> They give us reskin skins and charge us money for it. They give us execution packs that you can only use one per game and charge you another $5 for that. The coolest thing they released was the Nico Taro skin and that cost half as much as the game did. I don't think people realize that like, they are robbing you at this point. This is just pure cash grab. They don't care about the game. They don't care about making the experience good for you. They just want your money. I have been defending this game since day one, but at this point, it's just annoying. I have been living in denial, saying that the developers have been trying their best, but at this point, after going to different games, you realize that no, they just aren't trying. What they are trying to do is come up with ways to take your money, and that's about it. It is a good sign that they are waiting to release this character, as that means they want to make it better, at least I think so, but the way they are doing this by releasing Virginia first is not a good thing. Especially as the active player count continues to significantly decline, lobbies are only going to get worse and worse. And if you're wondering, how do you know they decline? Steam DB doesn't count. The game fell out of the top 50 for Xbox games a few months ago. Mind you, you can play that game with Xbox Game Pass. So the fact that nobody's playing it and chooses to play games that are old like BO3 and Farm Simulator shows that the game is dying. I'm not saying that means TCM is a bad game. You can like it more than DBD. I can say I like it more than DBD, but the truth is that it is not doing well. And with stuff like this, it just continues to deter people away. Like, yes, we did want new content. Yes, we are getting new content, but it's not good new content. And that's what matters. I don't want to pay the price of more than half of what I paid for the game for cheap reskins and things that don't even have effect on the game. The Nico Terra skin is a really good example of a good skin, but that should have been like $5, not $20. That's half the price of the game. I know I've said that a few times, but it is ridiculous. The best DLC has been the free maps, but they were only free because the lobbies would be too hard to match make without them being free. If a lot more of the DLC was released free or significantly cheaper, I think people would enjoy it a lot more. Honestly, if they don't lower the prices of the DLC, I will continue to think that they are just doing cash grabs because it really has just been a bunch of cheap stuff that they've been charging us a lot of money for. Of course, just because they're not releasing the new killer isn't the reason that I'm going on this tangent about the DLC sucking. It's just the history of the DLC so far that's making me talk about it. Also, the bad part about having to pay for expensive DLC, not only can you not play with them more than half of the time, but also if the character is too good, it's going to be called pay to win, and if the character is too bad, you're playing to pay with a bad character, and either way, that's not good. For example, when Danny released, everybody was saying he's just pay to win, and for like the first three months of the game, everyone said he broke the game, and that it was just pay to win, and that that was the reason why they left the game, etc, etc. Which in turn caused everybody to continue to lobby dodge Danny so for those people who did buy him they couldn't even play as him because everybody would just leave the game as soon as they loaded him up. Of course it's not fair to have to struggle against a character that's pay to win but it's also not fair to have to spend $10 on a DLC character that you can't play as. That's literally just wasted money. I know these takes are heavily disliked so if you do agree with me I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button down below. For those of you that are mad at me for not liking the game I promise you I do care about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. I just feel like the developers for this game took the franchise with its title and said how how can we make the most money instead of how can we make the best game? That is why this has become so frustrating because it is turning into this cash grab. Well, let's speculate what the new killer could be. We do know that it's most likely not Chop Top or a new licensed killer as we probably would have gotten that news by now. Some ideas I've heard is that it's something with an electric trap, 
I'm sure it would just basically sabotage certain actions so that you can't work on them without destroying that trap, which would kind of just be like Hitchhiker's ability, so I'm not too sure about that one. Another is somebody who can block narrow hallways. This would be an interesting one, especially if those blockades were permanent, because not only does it hurt the victims, but it can also hurt the family trying to chase victims. It would make it a little bit harder to get around, but of course you being able to place them gives you the advantage. I wouldn't mind seeing that and hearing more down below, let me know what you guys think will happen. In other news, there was a little bit of a secret discovered at Sissy where she can one tap victims and this is when she gets out of a fridge inside of the family house for some reason she does this little swing and if it hits somebody it'll instantly kill them I believe it is only specifically on that part of the map, but it is pretty interesting. I do appreciate when games add little stuff like that, so that is definitely something to celebrate. I know it seems like I am just hating on TCM at this point, but I have been defending it since day one, and it really took me from playing other games to realize that this game was just a cash grab and doesn't really care about making the game any better. And for people that are buying all the DLC because they want to support the game, I just don't view it as them caring about you. If you want to continue to do so, of course do that. I will of course be buying the new characters and testing that out next week. If I can even find a game. Also with a lot of new players coming next week, I don't see them sticking around for very long, especially if they're playing on Xbox Game Pass where they can just choose to play a different game without having to worry about losing out on their $40 investment within the game. I do know that it is half off right now, so if you know somebody who wants the game, tell them now would probably be the time to buy. But the game is full of people that are really good at the game already, so for new players, they're just gonna get insta whacked by both sides. Especially as the more casual players continue to drop the game, it's just gonna continue to be the ones that really grind the game, which I don't think that's fair to blame anyone for i think naturally as you play a game for a lot of time you do get better at it i know people want to say oh the sweats it's the sweats fault i mean that's just going to happen with every game so we can't blame people for playing a game and getting good at it that just happens but since that is a natural cause of gaming and this game has no type of skill-based matchmaking new players will unfortunately have to suffer from that and will probably drop the game very quickly hurting the game even further since day one the matchmaking has been the biggest issue of this game and it continues to be so and that just kind of shows the incompetence of the developers. I'm still excited to be getting the mill next week, of course as well as Virginia played by Barbara Crampton. Whether I'll actually get to play as her, especially on that specific day, kinda doubt it. But I'll try to get at least a game in and upload that, so make sure to subscribe to see those videos. I wonder how difficult it'll also be to get the mill on that day. I hope they kind of increase the odds or something, at least make it the mill only on the first day. If not, gonna be a lot of lobby dodging. It'll be rough. I know the update will bring a lot of people back to both sides, but the proportions of victims to family will be tremendous and worse than ever, and that is just unavoidable when you add only a new victim that everybody's coming back to play. On top of that, majority of players were also only playing victims, so it will definitely be significantly lopsided to the victims. A million people could come back, but if 900,000 of them are playing victim, it's gonna still take a long time to find a game. Specifically for victim, family should be fine. Hopefully we also get that new killer announced soon, I don't know what to speculate at this time for to make the 90 day window it would need to release in a couple of weeks i definitely feel like they kind of wanted to announce it that might be why the virginia release was kind of a little weird they just kind of posted a picture of her and said oh she's coming march 28th as opposed to the first one with nancy and danny as shown in the trailer in the background we had a whole little movie about them a whole little backstory i'm sure we will still get that with virginia and the new killer but i guess we'll just have to wait a little while longer but yeah hope you guys found this video useful and hopefully we get some news about the family sometime soon till next time love you see ya